1. What are the flexible single master operation FSMO roles in Windows 2003? 2. What role does a PDC emulator play in the native mode? 3. How do you change the RID master FSMO? 4. How do you change the PDC emulator FSMO? 5. What is multi master replication? 6. How do you move a server to a different site? 7. How can a server belong to more than one site? 8. How do you back up Active Directory and the system state? 9. How do you allow modifications to the schema? 10. What are tombstone objects? Follow up queue. What are lingering objects? 11. When do you switch a Windows 2003 domain to native mode? 12. How do you force replication between two domain controllers in a site? 13. How do you change the schedule for replication between two domain controllers in a site? 14. How do you rename a site? 15. What DNS entries does Windows 2003 add when you create a domain? 16. How do you manually defragment Active Directory? 17. How do you audit Active Directory? 18. How do you enable circular logging for Active Directory? 19. What tools are available for monitoring or changing replication? 20. How does intra-site replication work in Windows 2003? 21. How can you set the RPC port that intra-site replication uses? 22. How do you remove a non-existent domain controller? 23. How do you remove a non-existent domain from Active Directory? 24. How do you create a new site link? 25. How do you disable site link transitivity? 26. How do you create a site link bridge? 27. How do you specify a bridgehead server? 28. How do you change my Windows 2003's domain's net BIOS name? 29. How do you monitor when the knowledge consistency checker runs? 30. Why is placing the sysvil directory on a separate partition a good practice? 31. When should you manually defragment a domain controller, DC? 32. How can you determine whether the new global catalog, GC, is ready to service clients? 33. How can you check the status of the relative identifier, RID, pool on a domain controller, DC? 34. What are the relative identifiers, RIDs, of a domain's built-in accounts? 35. Can you switch an active directory AD domain from native mode back to mixed mode? 36. How can you reset the directory service risk to war mode administrator password? 37. What are the Windows Server 2003 forest modes? 38. What are the Windows Server 2003 domain modes? 39. How can you move a computer account from one domain to another? 40. What types of trust relationships does Windows Server 2003 support? 41. Explain the group scopes in Windows 2003 AD. 42. Explain the types of ad groups that can create it in Windows 2003 AD. 43. I am trying to create a new universal user group. Why can't I? 44. What is a creator owner account in Windows? 45. What is the difference between enterprise admins and domain admins account in Active Directory? 46. What are the differences between group policy, registry-based policy, and security policy? 47. Is there a maximum number of group policy objects that I can store in a domain? 48. What is the maximum number of group policy objects a user or computer can process? 49. Can I apply a group policy object directly to a security group? 50. Explain GPMC and RESOP in Windows 2003. 51. What is the difference between assign and publish application through GPO? 52. What permissions are necessary for group policy to apply to a user or computer? 53. Where are group policies stored? 54. 
what's contained in administrative template conference. Add. 55. Explain the enforce and block inheritance features available when managing GPO precedence. 56. What is the significance of SysVault directory in ADD? 57. List out the important ports used in ADD communications. 58. What is a site? 59. Differentiate between intra-site replication can be done between the domain controllers in the same site. 60. What is USN with reference to Active Directory? 61. What is KCC? 62. What are the protocols used by Active Directory for replication? 63. Explain the Active Directory partitions. 64. What is the name of ADD database and what is the default location of a database? 65. What are FSMO roles and brief them all? 66. What is a global catalog? 67. What is universal group membership cache in Windows 2003? 68. Can I place global catalog and infrastructure master role on the same server? Justify your answer. 69. Give the names of few standard commands, tools from MS to troubleshoot ad related issues. 70. What types of trust relationships are supported in Windows 2003? 71. Can we establish trust relationship between two forests? 72. What is Active Directory? 73. What is LAP? 74. Can you connect Active Directory to other third-party directory services? Name a few options. 75. Where is the ADD database held? What other folders are related to ADD? 76. What is the SISVA folder? 77. Name the ADD NCs and replication issues for each NC. 78. What are replication partitions? When do I use them? 79. How do you create a new application partition? 80. How do you view replication properties for ADD partitions and DCs? 81. What is the function of global catalog in an ADD forest? 82. How do you view all the GCs in the forest? 83. Why not make all DCs in a large forest as GCs? 84. Trying to look at the schema, how can I do that? 85. What are the support tools? Why do I need them? 86. What is LDP? What is Replement? What is AdSeedit? What is NetDum? What is Repidmin? 87. What are ad sites? What are they used for? 88. What's the difference between a site link's schedule and interval? 89. What is the KCC? 90. What is the ISTG? Who has that role by default? 91. What are the requirements for installing ADD on a new server? 92. What can you do to promote the server to DC if you're in a remote location with slow WAN link? 93. How can you forcibly remove ADD from a server? And what do you do later? Can I get user passwords from the ad database? 94. What tool would I use to try to grab security related packets from the wire? 95. Name some OU design considerations. 96. What is Tombstone lifetime attribute? 97. What do you do to install a new Windows 2003 DC in a Windows 2000 AD? 98. What do you do to install a new Windows 2003 R2 DC in a Windows 2003 AD? 99. How would you find all users that have not logged on since last month? 100. What are the DS commands? 101. What's the difference between LDIF and XIF? Usage considerations. 102. What are the FSMO roles? Who has them by default? What happens when each one fails? 103. What FSMO placement considerations do you know of? 104. I want to look at the RID allocation table for a DC. What do I do? 105. What's the difference between transferring FSMO role and seizing one? Which one should you not seize? 
Why? 106. How do you configure a standby operation master for any of the roles? 107. How do you back up add? 108. How do you restore add? 109. How do you change the DS restore admin password? 110. Why can't you restore a DC that was backed up 4 months ago? 111. What are GPOs? 112. Explain the loopback processing feature in group policy. 113. What is universal group membership cache in Windows 2003? 114. In one particular DC, oh you got accidentally deleted by admin. In another DC, the same OU was getting updated. What will happen in this scenario? How to risk toward the deleted OU? 115. Can we delete an object attribute and add? How to delete? 116. 1000 computers are there in OU. Policy needs to be applied only for 500 computers without disturbing the setup how to apply policy. 117. Explain the domain controller location process in Windows 2003.